So here the pirate spider is trying to mimic the movements of the resident spider's prey. Trying to trick it into thinking that something has landed in the web. You see those fine hairs lining the legs. She's using those to brush around in the resident spider's web. A little windy tonight, and perhaps that gives some confidence to the pirate spider. Now the pirate spider is larger, and you can see now that the comb-footed spider the smaller spider, the owner of the web, has pretty much bailed on this entire situation. Or, maybe it's coming around the back way for some reason. Nope. I'm guessing that's just a very learned spider. It knows when it's outmatched. And so it's going to move along find a new place to set up its home. And whatever the comb-footed spider had been feeding on, it looks like the pirate spider is now claiming that as its prize. see this web here, but it attaches up to here and then comes down and it attaches over here and then down here to the branch. And the spider that makes this web, it's right here and it's called a triangle web spider. They're very small and very bumpy looking. As you can see here, they sort of have two little bumps on the backs of their bodies. This one seems to have a little bit of a meal in its mouth. And then over here, I noticed that there were some very small spiders, sort of ballooning. They crawl up to the top here. And I thought maybe they were coming from that egg sac, but then I looked down here. And I've been watching these egg sacs for a while. They are house spiders. 
common house spiders. Parasteatoda is the genus. And those right there are all baby spiders. Watch them move there a little bit. You can see them all falling down, almost like raindrops there. I'll come back this way. I can take a look at you. Found its drag line there a moment ago and thought it might be a way back to where it came from, but not quite. And so here at this magnification, you can see those two tubercles, if you will, bumps there on the back of the abdomen. These funny little spiders, look how it just sort of drags its back legs with the drag line out behind it. It will be interesting to see here in a moment if it goes off the edge and down, utilizing that drag line behind it. The edge of the world.